Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat My Shorts. I've got a pepper to eat again. Uh, actually, to be honest, I've got a, a couple more inside to eat still. I've been gifted a couple of, actually a few, peppers recently. This one is grown by Stoned Pepper Kitchen in Barrier, BC. It's not the biggest pepper, but it is pretty mean looking and I really like there we go, those dimples, there's two dimples, and there's the other one. They're just super deep. I've never seen that before on a pepper, to be honest with you, so I'm pretty stoked to eat this. I actually have a handful of these things, but I just brought one out to eat and review. This is a chocolate Trinidad Hornet pepper. I'm not really all that familiar with these, although I did review a hot sauce that had red Trinidad Hornet peppers in it. But anyways, this one, from what I could find online, says that it's rated at 1.4 million Scoville heat units and up. I, I don't know. <laughs> Once it's over a million, it's just kind of, I don't know. No, never mind. That's not true. There's definitely differences, but over a million is just, that's an intense burn right there. Um, and even some that are slightly below that. So let's cut this open, see what it looks like on the inside. I'll be honest with you, earlier from this morning's video, I, I did end up getting not too bad, but I had some cap cramps kind of throughout the morning and into the early afternoon, but it worked out all right. I'm feeling great now. I actually had an awesome day, hung out with my good buddy, Lady Shorts and she took me out for lunch and we took Maggie for a little walk and it was beautiful weather, beautiful sunshine, it was nice and warm. Ooh, that's quite an oily looking pepper. Let's see if I can hold it open, there we go. It's just kind of saturated, it's not soaking with oil but it's just kind of soggy looking in there. Let's eat this and see how spicy it is. This is a chocolate Trinidad Hornet pepper grown by Stoned Pepper Kitchen in Barrier, BC, Canada. Thank you very much for your generous pepper gift and all the other awesome things you've sent over. Heat my shorts. <laughs> it's fairly sweet. Rufy. Almost smoky, almost um, floral, floral, floral bitter at the end, but not too bad. And just at the very end, and it kind of dissipated already. Left with a little bit of bitter flavor, but not too bad. It was a pretty good tasting pepper. Decent heat for sure. It's mostly getting me tip of the tongue to the middle of the tongue, the gums, the throat burn's just creeping in now. I was going to say almost zero throat burn, it's kind of creeping in now though. For flavor rating, I'd give that like a seven and a half out of ten. It's an enjoyable pepper. Maybe even, I'll give that an 8 out of 10. I was trying to um, take into account the, the flavors and the different levels and the, the bitter and the floral, but you know what? It was a really good tasting pepper and it was only a little bit 
bitter and floral at the end. What? Hey, 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 that's okay. That's just literally somebody driving by. Hey. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. I guess we'll have a hangout with her. She's feeling needy, it seems. Are you feeling needy? You didn't have enough hangouts today? Hey? Right? With your favorite people in the world? Hey? Right? <laughs> Yeah, I'd give that an 8 out of 10 for a flavor rating. My heat level right now... Okay, well right now I'm probably at like a 3 out of 10. I'd say it got me up to a 4 out of 10 on my heat scale. I want a little bit more of that. Bitterness, kind of, just came back just a little bit. But it's kind of nice. It's, it's kind of pleasant, actually. It's a nice finish. Are you all done barking? Hey, eh? you all done? Yeah. You're funny. She had a blast. We took her to the park. And she had a blast. She was hilarious. Hey, eh? you were hilarious. She's kind of always hilarious. I mean, I think she is. Hey, eh? I think you're pretty funny. I think you're pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> you get that. You get that. You get that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you get it. So anyway. <laughs> Did you say something? <laughs> what a good dog. What a good dog. Anyways, <laughs> I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I'm back down to like a, a 1 out of 10, just on the tip of the tongue now. A little bit on the roof of the mouth too, actually. I didn't even mention that. A little bit of roof of the mouth burn, for sure. Thank you very much, James. Thanks for sharing your peppers and your products with me, with the world. Keep it up. You're making some excellent stuff and you're growing some hot peppers there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Oh, somebody's feeling needy again. I'm gonna wrap this video up, head inside, get it uploading and all that good stuff. Start thinking about some dinner, I suppose. It's only like four o'clock actually, it feels later. Daylight savings, eh? <laughs> it feels late. Uh, anyways, in this corner you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Stone Pepper Kitchen on Facebook. Hop over there, give them a follow if you haven't already. Keep an eye on that product lineup for sure. On Up here, some videos or playlists for you to enjoy. Hope you all have a great day or night. I love you all and we will hang out sometime soon again, I promise. It's been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.